So in Absolutely. your in your buying and selling and acquiring and merging all these different companies and exiting them, um, what are you what are you foreseeing right now as um, like the biggest the biggest advantage of building a company and building a brand uh, like an e commerce brand or or something like that? Do you do you feel like most people have the goal to sell or do they have the goal to to grow and expand and be you know some household name? Well, I think, especially in the Amazon world, I think prior to this big kind of pandemic, plus we had the whole aggregator boom thing in, in Amazon, it was really less about selling. You know, we, we've we been working with uh, people, um, you know, who, who were Amazon native or heavy users of Amazon as their distribution channel for a while, pre-pandemic, pre-aggregator, boom, all of that. And it was much more the mindset before of, hey, I just want to grow a business that, you know, cash flows, that I feel like, you know, is worth my time, that I feel passionate about, I feel like I'm good at, you know, products that I really like, or that I just feel like I've found something here that's a little bit different. Um, and I think we're seeing people get back to that mindset a little bit, because, you know, the truth of the matter is, and, and not to kind of re, you know, go back through the what happened over 2020, 2021, and early 22, but there was a pretty big, you know, rush on buying Amazon native businesses. Um, and that's now kind of stopped. And so I would say that, you know, what, what one of the things we're doing with a lot of, of, of sellers is they're coming to us and saying, hey, well, do you think this is something I can build into a very sellable company? Right. And I think the answer for many is like, you know what, I feel like the better choice is to try to grow your business and cash flow your business so that it supports your life, maybe provides additional capital to invest in the next thing or whatever, and not be so worried about selling because the truth of the matter is, it's going to be difficult you know, to, to sell companies that are 100% Amazon, not impossible, but more difficult, right, in the future. And I think that what can happen is, especially when it comes from a, like a capital investment and a cash flow standpoint is, if you're really just trying to grow to sell, but you're not going to ultimately get there to create a very sellable, attractive company, you probably probably would have done it differently along the way. You probably would have been able to generate more cash for you individually. You could have done some other things, which, which have just been a better use of your time and energy. So I think we're seeing it shift back a little bit, interestingly enough. And, and I think that's actually a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it, it's, just more, it's just really important that you know, when you're going somewhere, you know where you're going, right? Mm -hmm. You're not just driving into some unknown destination. And I think that understanding, hey, what does it look like to create a business that someone's going to want to pay a lot of money for or a high multiple for mm -hmm. versus what does it look like? Hey, you know what? This may not be ultimately that, but you know what it is? It's a great business. Mm -hmm. It cash flows like a champ. It funds my lifestyle, my retirement income. And ultimately, maybe I'm going to reinvest those funds into another e-commerce business or real estate or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's important to understand the likely path and then plan accordingly. 